From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, the changes I've been talking about have arrived for most of us. We're noticing the clouds. We're noticing the slightly cooler temperatures and not to mention some of the wet weather that some of us are seeing as well. That chance for rain will continue for everyone as we go through the rest of the afternoon and not to mention going into this evening and tonight. And it looks like this uh, cooler wet weather pattern, of course, it rises today, but we've also got this cooler and wet weather pattern and this unsettled weather pattern lasting through the weekend and through at least the middle of next week. Now with this wet weather, we tend to see more rain in some areas than others. And typically that rain and the heaviest amount of rainfall is off to the north and west, in particular over Del Norte County. But one of the big concerns is with the recent fire coming in from the, um, from the uh, Smith, River, uh, Smith River complex, that is, you've got the potential for mudslides and debris flows. So especially with the potential of seeing upwards of two to four inches of rain and heavy downpours in one particular area, in particular over the uh, burn scarred area, you could run into some flooding issues. So that's something worth watching here as we go into the next few days. A bit of an atmospheric river that is developing and kind of making its way to Northern California, but you'll also notice all of this activity here over the Eastern Pacific. That's all heading our way and it's all going to be here in the form of cooler temperatures, clouds, and some of us more rain than others. Now, we go into the noon hour today, there's the heaviest rainfall to the north and west. We take you through the afternoon. We're seeing that band of rain, that atmospheric river, if you will, kind of aimed now to the south. So we're seeing less rainfall for Del Norte, less rainfall even for most of Siskiyou County, but now it's Modoc, parts of Lassen County, and not to mention the north end of the valley, seeing some of that rain as well, kind of picking up. Then we go into later tonight, now it's pushing to the south and breaking apart a little bit as well. You can see it's not quite as organized, but you know, Redding all the way down to Chico, all seeing some showers at this point and a little bit of shower activity off to the east, but fairly dry as you head for most of the north coast by tonight and not to mention to the north of that, it is Siskiyou and Modoc County, for example. Look at this, it actually dries out. We see some clearing in those clouds as well for tomorrow morning. And then I do expect through the afternoon, mainly dry. But by late afternoon, early evening, we start to see that rain begin to push on through and we're looking at some rain coming again for Friday night. Heavier rainfall off to the north and west. This is where we have those flooding concerns because as you can see for Friday and even going into Saturday morning, we're seeing some very heavy rainfall off to the north and west. Now with that said, we're not really seeing much to the south and east of that as we go into Saturday morning. Let's take you Saturday around noon. Once again, most of the rain is in Siskiyou County, Del Norte County, but you head to the south and east, we're not seeing much. Now we could see some stray showers, sprinkles here and there uh, for Saturday morning morning and even Saturday afternoon, but you can clearly see most of that rain is off to the north. Now, let's take a look at the forecast rainfall totals through Saturday around noon. No big surprises here. Most of that rain is to the north and west, and it begins to taper off as you head down to the south and to the east. Now, we do have this active weather pattern that's going to continue to bring one storm system after another coming on in. The timing of all this I can guarantee you it's going to change. The intensity of these storms that are coming in for next week, that will also change. But bottom line, you saw the timing going through Saturday noon. We do have more showers coming in as we go in the second half of the weekend and even into early next week with a bit of a break by Wednesday and Thursday. So your wave heights for today, fairly high actually, but we do expect to see those wave heights to begin to drop as we go into your Friday, but still a little bit on the high side. Here's what it looks like for today. The bulk of the rain through at least the first half of the day will be this area right here. It does include Modoc County. As you head to the south and east, you begin to see less rainfall today, but by this evening and tonight, you will get in on some of that rainfall eventually. Looking at your seven day outlook, it is a terrible mess. You're seeing clouds, you're seeing showers, you're seeing words that say PM or chance. <sighs> These are the kind of forecasts that quite honestly I dread because it is so difficult to communicate 
Who's going to see the rain exactly when and who's not, especially when you're talking about a seven day period? Because we're dealing with so many microclimates, we're dealing with the timing of the rain coming in on each of these days at different points of time. So that's why, especially going out for the next three days, I can usually give you a pretty good idea. But then beyond that, You've got to kind of just look at this and go, all right, you know, we've got some rain in the forecast here on these different days. Bottom line, today through Tuesday, there's at least a chance for rain for almost everyone. It's just some days more rain than others and some days less rain, right? So that's kind of what we've got going here in the valley. You can kind of see the afternoon showers for Redding and Red Bluff, Chico, later on this evening tonight, and that'll be looking like for Friday, Saturday, mainly those p.m. showers. Now, it looks like at this point we could see a bit of a break on Sunday with more rain coming in on Monday and then another break Tuesday, Wednesday. Your 7-day outlook for the coast, there's that wet weather off and on for the next seven days. By the way, uh, we need to set those clocks back one hour, and usually what people like to do is Saturday night or Sunday morning when you wake up.